we have been watching your YouTube clips, mm -hmm. and it's so nice to have you here to be able to have this conversation with you. Uh, why did you choose to put your art music on the web, and YouTube. why did you choose uh, YouTube? Um, it was just coincidence. I had come back from um, university, and I was taking journalism. And I came back and two of my best friends told me to put a video on YouTube because I had been singing ever since I was a kid. So they're like, let's just see if people are going to like your music. So I put my first video on YouTube on the 29th of December 2006, exactly. And I kept on putting a video every single day. And I think through that, it, it grew an audience for me. And people could empathize with my story, who I was, and what I was trying to do. That my audience just grew. That's what happened. You have so many followers. <laughs> now I have a lot of followers. <laughs> And they what, support you. They do. They've, I've got some really loyal supporters, and it's 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 really really nice to have people that have been with me from the beginning. They're like, oh, I saw your first video, and now look at you. It's really really cool. It's really cool. So, they put questions uh, on the YouTube clips, mm -hmm. and then you 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 like you collect the questions, and mm -hmm. then you do a, a blog post? Oh, right. So, uh, what I did, uh, because I had been getting emails, I got a lot of emails every single day, and it's it's virtually impossible for me or for anyone to answer that many emails. So, what I decided to do was, instead of me answering the same question over and over again, I, I did a video, a blog, and I said, okay, you guys send me all the questions, I'm going to tally them up, find out which, one, which ones are the most popular ones, and I'll do a video answering them. So that's what I did. People kept on sending me, I got a lot of questions, weird ones, funny ones, and um, I did a video post answering all the questions. So that's what I did. So what was the weirdest question? Uh, the weirdest question is definitely, have you ever been hit by a frying pan? <laughs> that, that was pretty original. Definitely original. Have you? <laughs> that was funny. And have I? No. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I'm going to try it out. I promise. Uh, you seem so uh, relaxed, uh, and mm -hmm. you like you like you're almost talking to friends. To friends, I don't know. Is the question why am I so relaxed? No, but like <laughs> the question is like who do you who do you see behind the camera? Like who are you talking to? Oh right. Do um, you picture a question. special follower? Or? Um, I would. What I normally do is I put myself in the people that are watching me, in their position, what I would like to see my idol say. I don't really have an idol, but if I had one, that's how I'd like her to interact with me. That's how I'd like her to answer the questions. Just be honest, be yourself. And that's how what I do. I talk to them, putting myself in their position. It just makes it easier for me. So that's your internet strategy? That's, I guess, no one's ever asked me that before, so I'm, I'm thinking, chewing, and that's the answer. That's the answer. <laughs> I put myself in behind the camera's position behind the camera. Being honest. Yeah, so. that's very, very important in this industry. I, I think, personally, that you have to be very honest with everything that you're doing. So your songs, are they about you in your life? Um, I have certain songs which are about a, a, a personal experience that I've had, but um, most of my songs are actually in, inspirations of other people's life or uh, stories that they've had, places that I've been that inspired me, uh, a movie, that storyline of that movie. I like that. I'm going to write a song about that. Just anything really inspires me. So some, a, a small few of the songs are actually personal experiences from so, the heart. So uh, you, you told us that you're a geek. I'm a geek. Yeah. I'm a geek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a proud nerd. <laughs> Let's talk about some gadgets. Gadgets, so, okay, cool. Yeah, Let's you were impressed about our camera. I was. <laughs> you guys can't see, but it's a cool camera. <laughs> what kind of uh, hardware do you use? Um... I started off with a Casio, like a really small black Casio. It's quite funny because I went to America, and while I was there, I, sh I showed a friend of mine the camera, and I was like, "So this is my camera." Whoa, what? This is what you use to put your videos on YouTube? Because it's so not professional. It's just this small thing. And then I, I I progressed into a Mac. I bought a MacBook, which is really cool. I recommend MacBooks. They have really good de um, high definition, and so that's what I use now. Mac with the iMovie HD thing. That's what it is. See, I am a geek, <laughs> and I edit my own videos. So, how, how much time do you spend on editing and, and recording? Uh, depends. I, I think I'm more 
I take more time editing a cover song of somebody else because it's someone else's song. You know, you want to do the best that you possibly can. So I do a lot of takes. Okay, take 240. Let's go. My hands get tired. But when it's my song, so it's just me talking, I don't take that long. I don't take that, what, about a half an hour, 45 minutes? If that's long, <laughs> that's what I take. Uh, have you been thinking about uh, starting an, any other type of, of uh, channel than YouTube using, like, building your own web space? My website? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, the funny thing is, through YouTube, I've got a lot of fan sites. And so they're, they're, they're very sporadic. They're dispersed everywhere. Mirrors.org and Mirrors.com. But there's going to be a time where um, my management, we're going to make our own website, MiaRose.com or something, where all the information is in one place. So you don't have to search, where is she now? No, it's going to be all in one place. I won't be part of that because don't understand anything to do with websites. Or I mean, I don't know how to design a website, but it's going to be cool. Mm -hmm. It's really cool to be on YouTube using mm -hmm. that way of, of having a conversation. Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's so different, so innovating to be able to use your camera to talk yourself to the fans. It's great. It's different. So how do you meet up with the fans in real life? Do you have concerts? Um, well, sometimes it's very, it's a coincidence. Like, for example, the other day I went to a concert of Colby Calais, who's I really, really like. And um, I left the backstage of her concert, and I had like about 25 girls recognize me. Oh my god, it's me, Rose! It's very, right now it's still coincidences where they, they meet me at the right, the right place at the right time. But um, soon we're organizing my first concert, and that's when I'm going to actually do the, the hi, I'm Mia, nice to meet you, <laughs> or I meet and greet the fans, it's really fun. Have you thought about doing, uh, like in, in the States I know they do uh, living room concerts, you go to your fan and actually play in their living room, they invite a lot of friends, really local stuff. Really? I'm thinking that that's sort of along the lines of the YouTube phenomenon, huh? really meeting your fans. I think, I think we have, um, I was presented with the Miro strategy, it's the strategy that I'm going to adhere to, and it's, it's, it's awesome. Uh, you're in for a lot of uh, really exciting stuff. And inside it, we have, we have a plan to do like a Mia Rose Lounge thing. Yeah, it's something more yeah. personal, not a lot of fans. They just chill out on pillows and watch. Yeah, it's going to be something really cool. And put it on the web? Put it on, obviously, it's always going to be. But in that one website, yeah. it's all going to be there. It's going to be really cool. <laughs> yes, this is so interesting. Yeah. More questions. <laughs> yeah, we are so impressed. <laughs> so, what would, you, would your advice be to someone uh, young, starting out uh, with a guitar, just like you, um, going that to YouTube? Uh, what would be the most important things to think about? Honesty, you mm. said. What else? That's what because I, I get a lot. I get that question a lot. Like, what, what, what's your what's your tips? Like, what should I do? I want to do the same thing. So I normally say. Um, be honest. Be very honest about yourself. I mean, uh, portray yourself with your true colors so that in, in, in a few years' time, they're like, wait a second, but at the beginning you were like this, now you're like this. No. Be true. Be honest. Um, enjoy what you're doing because if you don't enjoy it, they're not going to enjoy it. And just follow your dream. I have my favorite quote is, um, no one can ever make you feel inferior without your consent. So just don't give them your consent. And have fun. <laughs> Great. Okay. So what do you see in the future? For me? Yeah. Uh, lots of concerts. Good, get to travel to different countries, be able to say, um, hi, my name is, which in um, Swedish would be, hey. Um, uh, jag hitter, right? Yeah. So mm -hmm. I want to travel a lot, do a lot of concerts, meet different supporters from different countries. That's what I see. Like, I don't want to answer, like, millions of CDs to be sold. No, I actually just want to interact with the fans from different locations around the world. And that's your revenue model too, mm. concerts. It's it's the new the new in the new way of getting money in this music industry going down and everything. I'm doing a lot of gestures.